in, in December, by December, it was, it was my next exam and I, I took it and, and I passed. Luckily, it was, uh, it was amazing. I, I would have never thought I could do it all in one year. So, you know, I've hit, I've hit the max I can in, in terms of uh, advancement without a license. The next position up requires a license, a state license, time, feedback and, and things. But uh, I, I used both of those, um, uh, inter, you know, interchangeably. I, 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 during the week, I would do the on-demand, and on the weekends, I would do the live training. 8 p.m. to 8, 10 p.m., 8 and, 9 p.m. 8 and 11, you know, depending on how oh. tired I was. Yeah. yeah. When the kids let you go, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Pretty much, when they, when they were locked in the rooms <laughs> for the night. Yes. So. Yes, and the weekends, you know, like uh, the, the, a lot of a lot of time with the with the with the family and kids. Unfortunately, on the weekends, I missed a few, several birthday parties and you know things that I would normally be going to. But uh, that, that, those were those were mainly it. Just my evenings and uh, on the weekends. Yeah. Right, and that's the reason why I recommend students if you can take the exam sooner, take the exam right after passing the AP, because about thirty percent of the stuff is going to be relatively similar. Hi, Juan. How's it going? Hi, Wasim. How are you? I'm doing very well. So, Juan, thanks a lot uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule and doing this success story interview with me. So, first of all, many, many congratulations to you on ending 2023 on a high note. You not only got the FE electrical exam out of the way, but you also passed the P-Power exam and became a licensed professional engineer. So, it's a great achievement. A lot of people out there would be you know, relishing an opportunity to basically become a licensed engineer in a single year by passing both of these exams. So how would you walk me through your journey, Juan, when you graduated, when you started your FE prep, and what motivated you? Yeah, I graduated uh, quite a while ago, back in 07. And, uh, you know, throughout my career, I didn't really need the license, but uh, I had a career change and um, hit a point where I you know, could benefit a lot from having a, a license. So, you know, I decided that it was time to do it because um, I just kept deciding next year, next year. And, uh, you know, every every year just gets busier. So uh, I, I just pulled the trigger and said, I'm going to do it. And, uh, you know, got got the confidence to do it and uh, started started studying at the beginning of the year. I signed up for your, for your FE class. That was in um, 2023, yeah. 2023, yeah. And uh, by June... Uh, June is, is when I took my FE uh, for the first time and passed it, and immediately signed up for the for the PE, and, and right. planned out my uh, my course for the for the last half of the year. And you know, took took a month off, took a little break, got you know, get spent the summer with with the family and uh, get some time back, and then uh, just just hit the books again. And, and uh, in in December by December it was it was my next exam, and I I took it and and I passed. Luckily, it was uh, it was amazing. I, would have never thought I could do it all in one year. So, you know. And, yeah. And, so, so, I mean, it's not just a matter of hitting the books. It's a lot more than that. So we'll try and rival that. But uh, graduating in 2007 and then going all in, right, in 2023 uh, and getting it done in one year, right? So you yourself seem surprised, amazed by that, how you were able to pull it off. But was there any push or a pull, essentially, around 2023 that, was like, I need to get this done, right? That this has been on the back burner for so long. Was there any incentive or was there any self, uh, you know, so something that was missing? Like what triggered, what pulled you to sort of go over the edge? I, uh, well, I, I think it was a combination of different things. You know, I think for me, the biggest thing was uh, my advancement in, in my career. I had hit a ceiling. So okay. in order to advance, I, I, I needed a, a license to achieve a license. And so, the other thing is just getting past my, you know, self doubt of like, oh, I've been out of school for so long that right. I, I, it'll take forever. I'll, I'll never pass it. I'll have to retake it over and over. I, I was, you know, scared of the FE since it's such a broad range and so many different topics. It is, yeah. I haven't had to so study since. That, uh, that first piece one, um, where you recognize that it is a must have for your career progression, was it because the place you're working on the industry that you are in? Does it have predefined uh, requirements uh, for you to progress in the career, uh, or no, was it just it your does. observation? No, it does. For in in my current position, you know, I've hit 
I've hit the max I can in, in terms of uh, advancement without a license. The next position up requires a license, a state license. Oh, okay. And so for, for me to advance and I, I would, you know, I have the experience, years of experience and, um, you know, ability to do the job. I just don't have the license. And that's that, that was a big driver for me to just finally, you know, do it as well. Right. So when you decided uh, to join the FE program and you opted for the on-demand plus live training, so we had weekly sessions and it kind of keeps you busy, right? Oh yeah. I mean, you can, you can go as long as you want studying, you know, there, there's, right. there's a lot there. It's, it's, it's a wide range, you know, from someone who has a lot, maybe has a lot of it and just needs to brush up. It's all there. Or someone who's starting from the beginning, like me, who hasn't seen some of these topics. So it's, it's great. And, you know, the, the flexibility. So how do you approach it? For, what, for me, what was your uh, I, process? I joined a little bit late um, at, at the beginning of the session. So I was already behind. Um, uh, so, and, you know, being that I'm, you know, I, I work full time and a dad of two small kids, five and six, I, I, I just couldn't study during the week like I normally would it, in my younger days. So I, I would spend the night studying and the evening and the, and the weekend studying uh, and just use the live training uh, mostly. And then on the weekends, um, I, w- I would I would just wa- rewatch the the live training that happened the previous weeks and try and catch up and and if I was lucky, I'd try and get one of the live, you know, I, and I was able to join several of the live trainings, which which was great because I was able to ask questions and, you know, right. real time feedback and, and things. But uh, I, I used both of those, um, uh, inter, you know, interchangeably. I, I, I During the week, I would do the on demand and on the weekends, I would do the live training. Right. So if you go back in time in January, February, March, I mean, you took the exam sometime in summer, right? You said? I, I took it in uh, June, mid June. June, mid June. So it was sort of a five month, at least five month long journey, right? So most of the studying was happening in the evenings, right? So typically between what eight p.m. to eight, ten p.m., eight nine and, p.m. Eight and eleven, you know, depending on how oh. tired I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the kids let you go, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Pretty much when they when they were locked in their rooms <laughs> for the night. Yes, so. yes. And, uh, and that you were able to consistently or for the most part on a routine basis, uh, you were able to do that uh, for several months? Yes. Yes, I was able to keep it going. Um, and, you know, toward, towards the end, um, you know, start, start taking the practice exams and, and get familiar with the exam process. And, um, right. you know, at, at the last week, I was able also to just kind of do a, a final brush through of all the topics and, you know, write them all down in a little cheat sheet for myself. And... To bring everything together, basically. Now, in addition to not having any, you know, time to relax, uh, you know, watch shows or maybe even socialize most of the days, what else did you give up? Uh, my lunches too, actually. I would uh, just end the weekends, you know, like uh, the, a lot of a lot of time with the with the with the family and kids. Unfortunately, on the weekends, I missed a few several birthday parties and you know things that I would normally be going to. But uh, that, that those were those were mainly it. Just my evenings and on uh, the weekends. So yeah, that's that's what I tell my students. But but I still found that balance, you know, some some things that I'm like, I'm not I'm never going to get this day back or, you know, first, you know, it's very important things. I would just say it's too bad. I'll stay up later another day or figure it out, you know. So right. I, I did want to keep that balance and not just, you know, completely engulf myself in it. So but I, I just. It's difficult that, still. It, it, it is, is difficult. Yeah, it totally is. Uh, but, uh, you know, just just being consistent uh, for me and, and also just planning out saying, you know, I this is the 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 schedule for them for the next couple months and and just powering through and it was the way to do it for me right now when you got done with your fe in june you took a little bit of a break and then you joined my september to november uh be power live classes right um I think that's what I recommend most of the students that if you can if your state allows you it's a good idea to jump right into the p power prep. Now, from the get go, you probably sensed that there was a little bit of a different approach that I was taking with the PE Power exam preparation, right? Um, because it's a very different exam. It's actually extremely 
uh, you need a very, very different mindset to prepare for the PE power exam. How did you adjust to the level of depth that we had to go through? And how was it? Were there any modifications you made in your study style or? Um, yes, it was, it was definitely a, a lot more in depth, like you said, you know, so you, you, you're, you're, um, you're, you're on demand classes. They're, they're very in depth. And, uh, the, being that I was short on time or I felt like I was short on time, I, I ended up skipping the things that I either already knew because I, uh, did them at work, um, or, or, you know, just, um, just had to go back and re, re, restudy them later. But it, it was, it was a different adjustment, but, um, I, I still kind of did the same thing where I would, I would use the on-demand classes and the, uh, the live training in the same kind of fashion for, for me, since that worked for the FE. Um, but I and your PE power timeline it. was compressed, right? It was a it, compressed it, timeline. I, it was definitely compressed because in September, that means I only studied three months looking yeah. back at it. And I, I thought it was longer, but <laughs> it was only three months. So it, it, it was definitely compressed for me. And uh, so I, I just had to go with what, uh, in, in my opinion, was, was the things I, I needed the most work on, which which worked, worked out great because you, you would go into full depth and I, you know, it, it, it makes sense by the end of the, the lecture. Yeah, that's very impressive. A lot of people would basically, you know, struggle uh, and they do struggle, you know, getting the P exam done in about three months. Um, it's it's an amazing achievement. How much time were you putting in? Like, did you crank up the number of hours over the weekdays and weekends for P power, knowing that this is just a final hurdle along the way or you were putting in roughly the same amount of time? For me, it was about the same time. I couldn't really put more than than that. Um, and, you know, it helped out that there was a couple holidays in there too. So I could spend, uh, you know, a few a few day, extra days off that I didn't work that I could just uh, spend studying. But it, it was roughly about the same timeline for me. Right. Um, but it, it also helped a lot that I was fresh off the FE. So a lot of the topics also carried over, like the economics, uh, a lot of the fundamentals and uh, power some systems, of the power electronic stuff, you know, power systems as well. So a, a lot of the stuff, it, it, it seemed like a lot easier to learn the PE once I had the fundamentals down to, from the FE. So um, it, it helped a lot. It just, you know, it, you start put piecing some of the stuff together that we did it in the FE and realizing, oh, this is why we do it. Right, right. And that's the reason why I recommend students, if you can take the exam sooner, take the exam right after passing the FE because about 30% of the stuff is going to be relatively similar, right? And yeah. if not similar, it at least provides you some foundation. Now, looking back at it, just to close out our discussion, Juan, so it took you, what, about 17 years, uh, 15 years to pull the trigger on P licensing. And when you got started, you got both exams done back to back, right, in one calendar year. Uh, knowing what it took and knowing you know the level of effort it required and hopefully the benefits that you're already starting to see would you have done this sooner oh yeah i mean it would have been so much easier when my kids were uh you know not around or younger you know or uh you know just earlier in my career for for sure and uh it, you know you you see it as this daunting task that you just keep pushing kicking down the road but you know it's just going to get harder so i I, I wish I had done it a lot sooner knowing what I know now. Right. And what type of recognition have you noticed at work? So far, it's, you know, so far it's, it's been uh, really good. Uh, you know, I was highlighted at one of the staff, you know, design staff meetings and, and uh, I almost was able to say that I passed it, the both of them in one year, I, I was a few days away from knowing my results. So I didn't want to say right. that I passed both at the same time, but I was recognized for being able to pass the, the, fe uh, on the first try and uh, you know so at the next staff meeting they'll they'll probably recognize that now, i don't think too many of my colleagues have done that in one year so be, right being able to no it's a great that. achievement yeah yeah, yeah amazing thanks so again for your time Juan. um i really appreciate it and i wish you best of luck with your career uh, growth and i think one of the big lessons or you know something that people can draw from your particular story is that once you make a decision to pursue license you have to stay committed to it you'll have to make adjustments in your day-to-day -day life right folks around you your family obviously has to support you 
and it is not a one weekend session it is not a week long study effort it is a multi month study effort right and as i we've mentioned uh, reiterated a couple of times that you know 12 months knocking both of these exams out back to back is actually extremely um you know expedient in the sense that some students some folks are not able to get them done in such a short period of time so one year it might look daunting and that's maybe why a lot of people put it off but the more you delay it it becomes more and more difficult it doesn't get easier so if you foresee in your future ever that there will ever be a need of the P license for you to grow, I think the idea is that you should try and jump into it sooner rather than later. Yeah, no, I agree. I yeah, uh, in in my previous role, I didn't, I you know, I didn't need the PE, so I. Um, but I either, either way, I wish I had, I had just got, gotten in any anyways, you know. So. Right. Well, you have you have amazing achievement. Uh, so kudos to you and you definitely worked hard and you definitely put in a lot of time and effort. I did notice you in a lot of live sessions, I think more so in FE than PE, but I, your I schedule so, and yeah. Work, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as long as you're keeping up with the content and there's a lot of content to cover, right. For both exams in different ways, as long as you are being, um, you know, consistent and disciplined, um, it's not impossible to pass these exams. Yeah. No. And, th and thank you so much for uh, doing what you do. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if I could have done it in such a quick time frame with without, you know, ha having something like your program and your, your sessions to keep me going. And, uh, you know, because I, I knew you were there on the weekends. You, I knew you were going to be there, you know, getting your stuff done. So I was like, man, I, I also got to keep going. I don't want to. <laughs> fall behind so, I, appreciate I appreciate those it. kind words and it was a pleasure having you in the program thanks Juan thank you thanks Wasim talk to you later if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below you can find tons of stories of my FE electrical and P power students over here and if you want to learn more about preparation of these exams then click here to learn more Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.